Hey everyone, I am super stoked to share that the developers of the WaveState heard our call for a sample builder and delivered. With the WaveState 2.0 update, we can now also download the sample builder for free on Korg.com for Mac OS or Windows. This is going to allow us to import up to 4 gigabytes of our own samples. That's up to 4,000 mono samples or 2,000 stereo samples. I'm going to show you how to get started so you can use this feature to further personalize your WaveState. The first thing you're going to want to do is prepare your WAV files. So I'm using Logic, I recorded some vocal samples, and then I'm going to bounce each file individually and save them into a folder. You will see here that I saved them into my bounce folder in Logic, and I'm actually going to move this into a totally separate folder on my desktop to be consistent with where my file location is for all the samples I use for my wave state in the sample builder. So now I have to import my wave samples into my multi sample. You can either drag the samples onto the virtual keyboard or import them via the menu. Multiple samples can be added at once. So some of my samples have some silence right at the beginning. You can see that right here and you can easily edit this directly in the sample builder. You can drag this green line over to wherever you want your sample to start, and then also drag the end of the sample with the red line to wherever you would like it to end. Now let's take a look at the one-shot function. You will see that it is blue when it is turned on, and this just means that when I play my sample, I will hear it just once. If I have it turned off, this is actually going to make my loop functions visible and it will loop my sample. You can see that if I move the start line, it actually is a different color now, so that'll be the loop start and the end of the loop if I wanted. I can also move the screen line to show where the sample will actually start along with where the loop will start and where the loop will end. So you have a lot of control right here where your sample will start, where the loop will start, and then where it will end. In our key zone area on the sample builder, this is going to show us where our samples will be located on our wave state when we export them. So we see this purpley gray color right here showcasing our first sample. It's on C0. We can see that where it says original key. So when we turn our wave state on, my first sample is going to be located on the key C in that zero octave. Same thing with our next sample. It's now recognized as this dark green color and it'll exist where it says original key on D0 and so forth with the subsequent samples. Once you are done importing all of your WAV files from your destination folder into the multi-sample, make sure to name the multi-sample. I'm just going to call this vocal Oz, author, me, and category, I'm gonna choose vocal. The cool thing about this is all of your multi-samples will be saved under a user category automatically, but you can do a secondary category if you'd like. For notes, I can put C major scale. This actually won't show up in your wave state, but everything else will. Now we're going to go to File, Save Multi Sample As, and I would save this in the exact same folder that all of your multi sample wave files exist. So remember, I made a samples folder. I'm going to call this Vocal Oz, and it'll have the extension dot org multi sample. Hit save. Now I'm going to go over to the bank section and I should be able to see my multi samples already in here. If you don't, you can go to file and add multi samples. And here we go. Here's our Korg multi sample file, vocal Oz, and I could hit open. I'm going to type my name of this bank. So I'll just call it the same thing, vocal Oz, author, me, and this time I'm not going to leave any notes, it's fine. And if your wave state is connected, this transfer button should be green at this point. 
You can check your devices if you have multiple wave states connected to your computer right now. They should pop up and make sure to select the correct instrument that you want to export this file to. And I'm just going to hit transfer. Now also don't forget to save your bank. So we're going to go again, same process, file, save bank as. I'm going to save it in the same folder again. I can call it the same thing, save as uh, vocal Oz. And then my extension this time will be .corg bank. I'm going to hit save and that's it. Now let's take a look over at our wave state. The easiest way to check for your user multi samples is by starting with an initialized patch. So go ahead and hit perform, scroll all the way up to init performance, hit enter. And then we're going to change our mode to multi sample. So under wave sequence, hit select, cursor up to mode, change wave sequence to single multi sample. And then you can cursor down to MS, which stands for multi-sample, and you can scroll through using the value knob to whatever you named your multi-sample. And in this case, I called it vocal Oz. A shortcut instead of scrolling through all of my multi-samples. So going back, if I hit wave sequence, multi-sample and scrolling through, as soon as you turn the value knob, you can actually press step 16 and you're going to get to your user samples directly in there. All of the other steps are different categories of samples as well. Bass, lead, pad, synth, but step 16 is where your user samples will load. And I can hit enter. Now let's hear it. Remember, I'm down a few octaves. Let's go down. These were my original samples. And that's it folks. We now have a sample builder to import our own audio files and export them into our wave state to have unlimited amounts and possibilities for sound creation and exploration. I hope you all have fun doing this. It's super intuitive. I hope this video helps. Thanks and see you next time.